One of the most powerful influences on our health is our mind. And this has been known by medicine for almost 100 years, and the public knows it as something as the placebo effect. I take the medicine, I get well, later I find out the medicine was a sugar pill. I say, well, then what healed me in this process? And I say, well, it wasn't the sugar in the pill. The only thing that was the consciousness, the mind, that believed that this is the healing agent. What people don't recognize is what is called the nocebo effect, and that is, what is the consequence of a negative thought? And it turns out a negative thought is equally powerful as a positive thought in controlling our health, but in the opposite direction. The negative thinking uh, can actually cause every illness and disease just from thought. So all of a sudden I say, oh, well then the health is not really controlled as much by the genes as we thought it was, but it's really controlled by the mind. The element of yoga is a control to induce positive, powerful thinking, to control your biology, your physiology, your muscles and bones, but guess what? The same chemistry coming from the brain of a yoga student is affecting the physiological body, but it also is a protective element that protects that body from things like infective agents or malfunction in the system. Just controlling my thoughts through these exercises is the exact mechanism required for someone to have a spontaneous remission from cancer because that's what we now recognize. It was thought that caused the healing.